Next, we're going to learn about good rec goods received process in SAP production planning. So, the topics that we'll be covering today they are the prerequisites of goods received, post the goods received, and effects of goods received posting. So, let us start with the business example. When material has been produced, a good shift has to be posted for the production order. Like we have seen before that for the production order cycle, you once all the operations are confirmed, what you do is you do a good shift for the final step. You want to learn the process of good shift in SAP and its effects. Good shift. Now, as in the previous uh, lecture, I told you about the production order cycle where we release the production order, we post goods issue for the bomb item, we confirm the order, and finally we do the po post goods receipt. Goods receipt for the production order. So, goods receipt means the uh, goods has been arrived, the finished goods has been arrived to the stock. So in today's class, we'll talk about some more options and more uh, functionality about, about the goods received. So goods received are done for production order, goods received are, goods received are done for the purchase order as well. So even in the SAP uh, MM, Material Management Module, is uh, one of the important transaction goods received which is done by a MyGo transaction, one of the very, very important transaction which is used for goods received of the purchase order. But for production orders, we can use MyGo as well, and we have some other transaction that we have seen earlier. So, as I shown in the previous slide here, at the final step, you, that you can do the manually, you can post goods received, or you can finally do it automatically. So, goods received, goods received from production can be posted either manually or automatically. So, manually, I shown you MB31, you can use, or MyGo, you can use. Uh, let me show you the MyGo again. So in one of the previous lecture I've shown you, uh, in MyGo either you can use, um, if you want to use MyGo, you can use goods received for order. When you select order and here you can enter the production order number. Or as I said it can be done manually if you want to do it manually or it can be done automatically. So how do you do automatically? Automatic goods shift can be controlled specific to either the operation, operation control key, or the you can assign it to the material master in the production scheduling profile. So this is what we have learned in the previous uh, video for confirmation. I've shown you how you can customize for the automatic goods shift. So either you can do it at the control key PP03, or you can do it for the production scheduling profile. If you use if you choose control specific to material, the goods shift is posted upon confirmation of the last operation requiring confirmation. So as we have seen before, whenever the last operation will be confirmed, wherever the PP03 is, it will be doing the final confirmation or the, the goods shift or the finished goods. Control parameters for goods shift. Now a couple of things we can um, set up in the material master that we can control. So let us talk about this. If I open existing production order, say this one, when you go to goods receipt tab here, here you can see various uh, fields here. So we'll talk about all the important fields here. So this field uh, stock type, you can see by default this is saying I'm, I'm unrestricted. Basically, it's uh, more MM perspective, but what happens is we have three types of stock for every material types of stock. We have three types of stock. One is unrestricted. Unrestricted stock. Second is your uh, quality inspection. Quality inspection stock. And finally is your blocked stock. Or block stock. So basically what happens is unrestricted stock means any stock which is there in the warehouse and anyone can use it. That means it's a good stock. 
unrestricted means you can call it good one good one then the second type is quality inspection <coughs> whenever a goods has arrived either from the vendor by the purchase order or from the production order from the in-house production some business will do the quality inspection that means as soon as the goods are received we it will be put in this category in the quality inspection so that that means this is going under the quality inspection when the quality people will approve the quality then will move it from the quality to the unrestricted so that other can use it so from quality you can move it to unrestricted you can move it in either way either from quality to unrestricted unrestricted to quality okay blocks blocked stock means any stock that is no good damaged no good we can't use it it's rubbish we don't want to use it so that is a block so the quality is not good we can't use it so any of the stock category can be changed from one category to other category in the sap mm side basically using the migo transaction which is and there's option for transfer posting but the the thing that i want to discuss here is that for example some business can say that um okay let me open a material here if i go to mb52 transaction where you can see the stock here if i go to mb52 let me check this material abc here you can see quality inspection zero stock in the quality inspection block stock zero there's some other thing returns and all as well which is using other functionality but here you can see quality inspection and unrestricted stock is 99000 something and uh, nothing in the quality inspection nothing in the unrestricted uh, in the block stock so these are the main category so my question uh, the, the thing that i want to discuss here is some company can say that whenever the goods are received it should be automatically put in the quality inspection so that <clears throat> whenever someone is doing the good sit it should automatically jump to the quality inspection so that no one else can use it before we do the quality inspection check once the guy will approve it then we'll move it manually from here to here so if you want to send a stock to automatically by quality inspection or automatically to unrestricted so where that setting is so here you can see in production order by default is taking this setting unrestricted but some co co company wants to directly send it to quality inspection then it doesn't make a sense that it in every purchase order in every production order you will come here and change it manually it should be automatic so how the automatic thing can be done you can do it in the if i go to mm02 open the uh, demo PO material and then jump to the work scheduling tab so work scheduling tab so here if you check this box inspection stock see this one and if I save it that means by default even if you can if you can, you can press F1 here and see the detail what does it mean you can read it so by default it will send it to the uh, quality inspection stock okay so if i save it i will experiment with this one if i create a new purchase order it will only affect for the new purchase order if i go to co01 uh, demo po material press enter quantity say four so enter some date here Now if I jump to the goods receipt tab here, now you can notice by default it is going to quality inspection. Why? Because there's a setup in the material master. So whenever we, someone will do the goods receipt, it will automatically go to the, this category of the stock so that nobody else can use it. So when the quality guys will approve it, they will man manually send it to the unrestricted category so that we can use it. Uh, then we have um, goods receipt and goods receipt non-valuated. Good shift means if this is checked, this means the good shift is necessary. We need to do that good shift for this order. So you can see this is checked. Good shift non-valuated means this is something used for uh, material type UNBW non-valuated good materials. So depending on what the material.